last at You're least talking the last about four reaction years. to identity politics, dog. Half the people that were tweeting tweeting at me in response to what you were saying to me were literal Nazis and white supremacists, like linking. Look, me man, it's this guilt by association shit. Why don't you denounce all the communists in your movement? They killed a hundred million people. Wait, what's what is wrong communism? with communism? Is that what you just said? Wait, what does well, communism have to do with any of this? Well, what do Nazis have to do with this? The people, they, it's a political and, and race ideology. Communism is just an economic thing. Oh, it's an economic thing. Okay, Nazis were a, a, a movement in, in, the, in 1930s. Hey. What's up? Alright, so all the other soy boys, social, want to argue like morals and dumb shit like that. I'm going to red pill you on the empirical evidence for socialism. So, like, what's the strongest empirical evidence against socialism? No, 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 I don't think you can what would be the strongest that. empirical evidence for it? I don't think you have empirical evidence against it. It just doesn't seem like it's been done on, like, a large level yet. Oh, sure. So I should clarify. I am a democratic socialist, and I think that the USSR came reasonably close would have to implementing a bad market regulation uh, that would prevent that. Like, what is, what is your big problem with socialism? Like, do you not believe in a democratic workplace? Um... No, I think that I think that it could work. I just don't know if I agree with the abolishment of capital, or, or the abolishment of capitalists. Does that make sense? Um, like maybe, I don't think owning capital, capital, like unilaterally, capitalism. it should be bad. Um. Okay, but what about the means by which you derive that capital? Because theoretically, in democratic workplace, all the workers well, like, can get I'm together. I'm okay with reforming. If we move in directions that are empirically proven, I'm fine with that. That's fine. I'm already in favor of that. I'm already in favor of single payer healthcare. I'm already in favor of greater redistribution of wealth. I'm already in favor of probably like more like worker representation in terms of like unions and whatnot. Like these are policies I'm already fine with. I just don't know why I need to be like a full on like all labor is exploitative. The fucking proletariat. I don't think I need to go like that full fucking AIDS in order to have those conversations. I can continue to push for. So at least it's fair to say that you are not like a, one of these fans of Nicolas Maduro. No, aren't there like a lot of um, I, I've seen reactions to this. Aren't there a lot of like lefty people that are kind of like championing him and saying, well, the U.S. is only trying to kick him out because this is capitalism versus socialism again or something yeah. like that. And then yeah. some people are getting mad because they're kind of excusing what are probably human rights violations of this guy because he seems to represent. Lefty. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so far, you're limited uh, a perspective matches up with mine which sure, gets yeah. me criticized on a lot of i'm sorry guys workers are fucking stupid they are i don't know what you want me to say i don't know how anybody can disagree with this i don't know how anybody could work a job and come away thinking yeah my fellow co-workers are so smart i wish they ran the workplace i don't know who could possibly fucking think this besides white college kids that haven't worked jobs before I'm being elitist. Again, Glasnost was, was a collapse. They were like, they, they were not able to bend, so they broke. But the okay. notion that, that capitalism okay. is somehow responsible for China's growth, well, you could argue that they've been traded with capitalist countries, but, but they've pulled themselves up by their bootstraps. I think China's achievements are an inspiration to the entire world. Uh, I'm kind of curious. In, 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 in other countries, wait, wait, I just, can I ask him one question? Let's, 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 only, let's only address points wait, that sure. that so I'm, I'm making yeah. and not sort of... Well, that I, I'm more of, uh, if, if you want me to get really, really explicit, I'm more along the lines of an anarcho-communist. I wouldn't call myself that specifically, but I would say that I'm, I trend in that area. Okay, I've been um, just I, basically... I come from the more like contract-oriented, um, you know, exchange of, of goods and services, products, labor, etc. Okay, I, I, I just basically, I, I just don't see how organizing this company in a different fashion like the issue that you have with the company of people being susceptible to sensationalist headlines. I, I already told you I'm not here to completely defend Vietnam. I'm just here to set the record straight that there's a lot of misinformation about Vietnam and the, the capitalist media makes it seem a lot worse than it is. But that's not to say that I will okay. defend every single action that the Vietnamese government does because I'm not a Marxist Leninist. Okay. Okay. I mean, that, that's just. Is there the any. Is. I'm there's just curious, just for my reading later, is there any country that you can point to at any point in human history that exemplifies like the values that you're talking about? I think some of them that came the closest, I can give you a few examples. Uh, right, Spanish this Catalonia existed well, for well, this is also, I just want to say, this is also like capital under perfect conditions. This is when it naturally trends towards if left unfettered. Like, this is just sure, of course, but that's why nobody has a completely unfettered capitalist system nowhere in the world, or at least as I understand but it exists. You can't, you can't regulate this out unless you want to stop. Okay, well then what's the alternative? Because every socialist system has miserably fucking failed, like in a, in a much quicker amount of time than like the capitalist system we have right now. Like, the fact that the product has gone down in price by 10 doesn't matter because your personal income has declined. Wait, why would your personal income decline? Because, because you lost your job at a fucking union steel 
steelworker and you became a stupid Walmart dreamer. Fuck the union steelworkers. I don't want every single working family in America to pay more for all of their goods because we're trying to protect one narrow sect of the economy. Why the fuck should I make every working family in America, by the way, poor people spend a disproportionately higher percentage of their discretionary income on necessary goods like cars, okay? Why should I make them bear the brunt of the cost of protecting a narrow industry in our country? That is absolutely okay. absurd. I don't want to tell fucking jokes. Sounds good to me. Um... Does anyone in here want to talk about anything else? Or? Peter is hurting the cause, sure. I, I mean, I think you are. Like, I think, like, this is one of the reasons why I got big on the internet is because you guys on the left absolutely suck shit at confrontation. You're not willing to defend any of your ideas. You can't substantiate anything outside of, like, a huge video circle jerk. And all you do is you mischaracterize the fuck out of everybody that disagrees with you. This is why I got popular. It's because I filled a void that none of you were able to okay, do. Okay, so what you've done here... Yeah? Shut the fuck up. What you've done here is you've made me tired. As a result of that, uh, let's go over. If you haven't followed my stuff lately, I've been getting into a lot of fights with lefty communities because I noticed that extreme lefty communities oftentimes employ the same rhetorical strategies as communities on the right. Um, and actually, we can go through one of the memes that came out of this today. Um, I'm Call me petty, but I'm going to be reporting any lefty person that refers to me as Esteban or has their chat refer to me as that because I actually consider it to be a fucking racial slur against me. When I have people that are virtue signaling so fucking hard to me that don't believe in any of the shit that they're talking about, they're going to come and use like a weird fucking Spanish name for me because I'm fucking half Cuban? What the fuck is that shit? So hell yeah. That the examples that you gave... Oh my first god. Yeah. Yeah. Last yeah. Last yeah. Last yeah. Holy shit! This is unreal! Are you guys watching this? I can't believe this right now. Why can't you just answer the question? Because most people aren't being attacked for it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Do you understand right there how you just gaslit China? Oh, We're I think for the moment, I think you're a well, secret tanky. I, I, I do think that. Don't you still have like all that, like your name is Central Committee. Don't you still have all like that Soviet shit or whatever on your fucking screen? No, I understand 100%. That's just the fucking answer I'm giving every single fucking time somebody tells me that I think communism is really stupid. I understand that the fucking communism, that the, 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 the fucking Das Capital is not, this is how communism works. The critique of capitalism that says it inevitably lead to the rise of socialism. I know that. I understand that. Do you have an argument for communism and socialism or do you just come here to drop that totally fucking retarded piece of information that I obviously fucking know? Because I've heard it a million fucking times. So the point he makes is that these are like an issue. And, and so, like, that case was the destiny. Canada's so, American American the only party in the United States to help me out with that question. They were the only company. If you're a big destiny fan, that's cool. Don't try to lie. That's the whole point of that one. Wait, wait, wait. The Canadian government itself. But the Canadian government. Can we be really clear? The Canadian government is still a personal income. So, like, for instance, I can win by being the alpha male. Fuck the union steel work on it. I don't want every yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I am trying to. And I'm trying to say that. I think this is very important. Is that as a public figure? I think I should be good. Just can I go get a drink and then you can come out and meet me? You're saying that because you love it. I'm just asking you, should a poor person do it? I don't need you to give me your fucking shit. I'm not going to shit when you talk about your audience or whatever. By the way, none of which are probably fucking hard. The Kardashians are lying to you. Uh, although I, I mean, it, it just, it sounds like a, people. it sounds like a might is right then kind of thing then. Then the person who ends up being right is just the person with the most amount of force behind whatever they think? Mm, no, because it has nothing to do with being correct. But it does have a lot to do with what wins. 